Hi, good morning. Uh, Seeing another good case. This is Dr. Gaurav here. So this patient has a uh, pain in ankle uh, since past six, seven odd months. Uh, let's look at this PDFS axial images. We're going from cranial to caudal. So if you see, this is a pan-like structure arising from the lateral mellulus. Just anterior and inferior to the AITFL. This is AITFL. And this is the band-like structure arising from the lateral mellulus. We're going all the way across the talus, the ankle joint. And finally going and inserting onto the medial mellulus. The structure arising from here going all the way across and inserting onto the medial mellulus. So, what is this structure? Let's look at the sag images. Stream structure, this is the structure. This one, this is the band like structure. It's arising from lateral mellulus, arising from here all the way across ankle joint this is seen within the ankle joint effusion it's going all the way across right here it's hypertrophied and it's going 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 inserting onto the medial mellulus let's also look at the and we also see there is some amount of uh, edema in the talar dome so let's look at the coronal images All the way across the ankle joint, inserting onto the medial mellulus over here, and rising from the lateral mellulus over here. So it's rising from here. See, lateral mellulus origin going all the way across, inserting onto the medial mellulus with some edema involving the talar dome. Uh, so this is a exceedingly rare case. Intra-articular synovial plica uh, originating from uh, the two attachments, one on the lateral mellulus and uh, going all across the ankle joint and attaching onto the medial mellulus. And this is causing some sort of impingement uh, in the ankle joint uh, with the resultant subchondral marrow edema involving uh, talus and tiny edema involving the uh, this land of